Hi, this is Deanna Sokup, and welcome to our course tour for Project Lead the Way Advanced Placement Computer Science A. First, let's explore the online textbook for my.pltw.org. You can access the online textbook with this link provided here. Within the first few days of the course, be checking your school email for your Project Lead the Way login and password information. Once you receive this email, you'll be able to use the login information to access the online textbook for this course. In the table of contents on the left, you can see the course landing page, and you can also scroll down to see each chapter. Click on the chapter to access the units inside. Click on the units to access the activities, projects, and problems. Within each unit, there are several activities, followed by either a project or a problem. You have to click on the chapter, then click on the unit, then click on the activity. When you click on the activity, you can see step-by-step -step directions. Our course in Schoology is organized into the chapters and units that align with the chapters and units in the Project Lead the Way online textbook. Assignments in Schoology correspond to the activities, projects, and problems in the Project Lead the Way online textbook. As you complete a, each activity, you will complete a developer's journal, which will include your responses to prompts within the text, new vocabulary and attempt chart, responses to reflection prompts, and conclusion prompts. You will submit your developer's journal, program files, and any other work through Schoology. Second, let's explore another very important resource, AP Classroom. AP Classroom is our resource from the College Board for the advanced placement components of the course. Here, I will assign you progress checks, topic questions, and assessments to help you check your mastery of AP concepts in preparation for the written AP test at the end of the course. Notice that the Project Lead the Way units align and match the AP College Board units. You can start the course by clicking on the orientation folder and completing these items in order.